we're going to look at pivot points in 3D objects. And we're going to start with a box. And we're going to look at this box first, and then we'll add some things to this. So when we draw this box, 3D Max is going to automatically put a what it's going to consider a center point to this box. And if you can see here, the pivot point or the center of the box, this is the top view, is centered on the top view and it's on the base. So it's on the bottom part of this box. If I draw another box up here, that center point is on the base of the box here, but it's not on the bottom. So we can move this box, and then we can adjust the pivot point of this box by clicking over here to our Hierarchy tab, change Effect Pivot Only, and we can move that pivot point around. Now this becomes important because when we try to rotate this box, notice that our rotation circle here is going to center around this pivot point. So when we rotate the box, that is where the box is going to rotate. If we change that pivot point, we do that again by hierarchy, effect pivot only, and then select our move tool. We move it over. You have to make sure you turn this off. And now we'll rotate the box. And notice now it's rotating around the corner of that box. Now one reason we may want to do this is if we were creating an object that had two say this box with the two boxes on the side here, we would want to change this pivot point to move it over to that corner. And this pivot point is on that corner. So now when we rotate these objects, they work more like arms. We're going to link these together, so we're going to click on this box and go to our main box, and then we're going to click on this box and go to our main box, and we're going to move our main box, and notice now that we move our main box, the other small boxes move with it. We still have the option to rotate. And we can move it. Now in our pivot point, or our hierarchy tab, we have several other options here to work with. So if we draw this box, we can choose Effect Pivot Only, and we can center to the object. So as soon as we click this, or watch the center point here, notice that it went to the exact center of that object. I'm going to move these out of the way. So now we have the object in the center, both length, width, and height. We can align it to the object, or we can align it to the world. Notice how our axis change when we select those. Now, we'll go back to our bigger model. We also can choose to edit on the edit the working pivot point 
So notice that it snapped back to this middle piece, and now I'm adjusting my pivot point there. Or I can use the working pivot. So when I choose the working pivot, I actually rotate the object itself. So edit working pivot point is going to allow me to edit the working pivot point. Use the working pivot point is going to allow me to use it to rotate the object.